So here we go, the final act in what has been a, a competition that has entranced us throughout, never short on drama or emotion or talking points. This year's edition certainly does more than hold up to its predecessors. It seems this is the game in which everybody is keen to play a part. The stands are washed with colour, proud renditions of their songs from either end. It really does have all the ingredients of a top, top final. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Both teams, Jim, eyeing the ultimate prize here. Unerring focus and determination in all of those eyes. Bringing back memories for me, Peter. A chance to have your name in the club's history. Having had the privilege of experiencing this uh, a fair few times in my own career, there really is nothing that compares. Once you get there, you want to keep coming back. I still feel like that now. Well, this is it. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Cesc Fabregas. Golovin. And it's played forward. That is terrific skill. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. But that is good defense. Going for goal! Big relief. It just needed better contact. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Bernat, Idrissa Gay, Di Maria, tries to get it forward quickly, Kimpembe battles to win it back, forward it goes, now it's Fabregas, and it's Jovetic, and here's Ben Yedda. and here's... Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Cesc Fabregas. Monaco have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. That's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Played out to the right. Deftly done. Keylor Navas can claim that. Florenzi. Dinks one in. Oh, delightful ball. He's got away. Massive leap! Start of something big. 
What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the top, this fella is definitely no slouch. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it, rather than even thinking about losing it. In with the challenge, Monaco have a free kick. Driven straight at the wall. Aimed into and a header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Hoists it forward. Di Maria. Now it's Neymar. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Abragas plays it forward. Torrenti. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Long and direct. Managed to get it away. Holland. Looking to break out here. He's got through. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Drexler provides an outlet. Gets away from this. It's one! And he nearly went all the way. Well, at least the crowd are appreciative of his efforts. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hoists it high. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's Ben Yedda. Cesc Fabregas. Fabregas spreads it towards the left. And it's Folland. Lays it out to the flank. Cesc Fabregas. Jovetic. Now it's Jovetic. The referee has seen that as a dive. Listen, he could play the innocent as much as he wants, Peter, but it was fairly obvious to everyone here. He's got no hiding place. Florenzi pops it in gently and he's cut it out and that has been clubbed away Neymar tries lifting it over whistle's gone and we've reached the halfway point of the final 
And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Half-time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Paris Saint-Germain have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half-time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half-time. Paris Saint-Germain head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. So we're already into the second period. Paris Saint-Germain going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Jovetic shoots! Oh, surely that deserves better. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Keylor Navas sends that a long way. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Golovin looks to think on it. Berati goes steaming forward. Berati drives it forward. Gets good distance on it. Mbappe. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Golovin tries to stroke it through. Keylor Navas attempts a clearance. Monaco are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And he's there to hook it away. And it's gay. Neymar set up one goal so far. A buccaneering run from the... Hits it first time! Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Drives it towards the front. Marco Verratti. Idrissa Gay. Idrissa Gay goes looking. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Keeps everyone guessing. Time to deliver. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Florenzi. Should have been two. Mbappe has reacted in utter shock here. For him, the keeper has pulled off the impossible.
Monaco are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Goes for goal! And that would have been game set and match. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Chooses to go back. And the shot! There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Well, this lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Just a few moments from glory. Look at the defender bombing forward. And that's been leave it clear. Paris Saint-Germain can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. It could be in here. Monaco need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. He's made sure that that won't get through. It's being played forward. Is there any support? He might not need it. Golovin, Golovin with a long pass. Hoists it forward. Oh, well it... And the referee brings it to a close. Paris Saint-Germain are the winners. The ceremony is fitting. Their triumph has been beautiful indeed. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions. And this is their moment.